Staff Support Center Change of Directorship Ceremony. I have Colonel Andrew Raymond, Captain Responsibilities and Directorship to Colonel Macy Bozar. I am Captain Herring, and I'll be your narrator for today's event. The presiding official for today's ceremony is the, the Director of J6 C4 Enterprise Directorate, Defense Information Systems Agency, Ms. Sharon Woods. Throughout the ceremony, you will be asked to rise and be seated at various times in accordance with customs and courtesies. As a reminder, during the playing of our national anthem, military members are to stand at attention. We also invite our civilian guests to stand and place their right hand over their heart during the national anthem. We're pleased to have the following distinguished guests in attendance with us today. Please hold your applause until the end. Director, Defense Information System Agency and Commander, Joint Force Headquarters, Department of Defense Information Network, Lieutenant General Robert Skinner. Director of Intelligence and Cyber Effects Operations for the National Guard Bureau A26, Brigadier General Reed Novotny. Defense, Defense Information, Information Systems Agency J6 Senior Enlisted Advisor, Chief Master Sergeant C.J. Jackson. Former Joint Staff Support Center Directors, Lieutenant General Retired Mark Bowman and Colonel Retired Douglas Sh Shahan. And lastly, the Joint Staff Facility Dog and the Goodest Boy, Lieutenant General Charlie and his handler, Master Sergeant Sabrine Graham. We would now like to extend a special welcome to the families of our outgoing and incoming directors. Colonel Freeman's husband, husband Douglas, Douglas, and their and children, children, Halana and Karia. Colonel Freeman's family, dialing in from Illinois, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. Her father, David Aggins, father-in-law, Master Sergeant Reti Retired Lawrence Freeman, and mother-in-law, Helen Freeman, looking down on us today. Colonel Bozar's wife, Danielle, and their children, Luke, Logan, and Ashlyn. Colonel Bozar's parents, Butch and Janie and Colonel Bozar's mother and father-in-law, Fred and Denise Bagley. We also welcome all senior officers, commanders, directors, senior enlisted leaders, family, friends, and the men and women of the Joint Staff Support Center. Thank you for attending and joining us for today's event. The Joint Staff Support Center plans and executes instructions for conducting C-3 operations to enable nuclear command and control and national military command and control capabilities as directed by the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The Center is tasked with ensuring continuous situational awareness, monitoring and communication support while providing oversight among all C-3 enablers on behalf of the National Military Command Center and the National Joint Operations and Intelligence Center while establishing worldwide emergency action, messaging and decision-making capabilities between deployed combatant commanders and the President of the United States. Today's ceremony is a time-honored tradition in the military which demonstrates that the authority of directorship has passed from one officer to another. As a formal ritual that signifies the transfer and acceptance of total responsibility, authority, and accountability for all actions of the command. Please rise for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the singing of the National Anthem by Technical Sergeant Denise Treadwell, followed by the invocation by District Chaplain Dr. Jay Chen. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the
please bow your head. Pray with me in your own tradition as I pray in mine. Loving and gracious God, we thank you for your presence at this change of directorship at this Joint Staff Support Center. We thank you for choosing leaders with integrity who lead the mission, who motivate us in our work, ultimately promote freedom in the world we live. Almighty God, on this day, we recognize the gift of leadership. We humbly ask your blessing upon Colonel Angela Jagger Freeman and Colonel Macy Bozart as they pass between them the guidance of the leadership, directorship for this, this joint staff support center. As it passes, strengthen them both in the task to which you have called them. Go with Colonel Freeman and her family as she and they prepare for their new assignment. May this new transition of her life bring fresh enjoyment of your bounty and the increasing insight of your love. Remain, O oh God, with Colonel Bozart and his family as he leads the JSSC to new heights of excellence as Colonel Bozart takes the mantle of leadership. Bless him with keen insight, firmness of character, and a vision for the use of these talents. Give us all the commitment to serve our new leaders well. O oh, gracious God, our calling in life has put us in very important places. Give us the qualities necessary to serve our country well. Strengthen everyone here today with courage, endurance, and steadfast resolve to be prepared to accomplish our mission. Grant us, O oh God, powers and resources may be used in defense of freedom, justice, and order in this country, in our world. Thank you for your never-ending love, strength, and courage, and guidance. In your holy name, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Chen. Please be seated. It is my distinct honor to introduce Ms. Sharon Woods, Director of J6, C4 Enterprise Directorate, Defense Information Systems Agency. So wow, we really lucked out on the weather because the last few days have been brutal. So not only is it a little cooler, but we have some overcast here. So I am really happy for that, for such a momentous occasion. I'd also like to start with thanking Captain Herring uh, for your narration, as well as everybody that worked to put this event together. It takes a lot of people to pull something off like this. So please, round of applause for everybody that put it. So first, I would like to thank Colonel Freeman's family, her husband Doug, and her daughters, Helana and Karia. Doug, as a military spouse, you helped carry the tremendous responsibility placed upon our men and women in uniform. And all you have helped to shoulder enormous burdens so that your wife and your mother could focus on her mission. You have been full partners alongside Angela and the nation owes you a debt of gratitude it can never repay. Thank you for your support, your sacrifice, and your love. I am equally honored to welcome Colonel Bozar's family and his wife Danielle and his children Luke, Logan, and Ashlyn. It was also a pleasure earlier speaking with your parents and your in-laws as well. We are profoundly grateful to you for standing beside him during his service. And I should warn you, it is about to get a lot busier. So let me offer my sincerest gratitude in advance from the entirety of DISA J6 for the support he is going to need over the next few years. I am also delighted to welcome our DISA Director, Lieutenant General Robert Skinner, as well as our many other distinguished guests and mission partners. Angela, I have to start with saying I am sorry that we did not get a longer opportunity to work together. 
I barely walked through the door and let me say, your reputation precedes you. Your grit, your fortitude, your commitment, the passion to the mission, that came through loud and clear from every single person I talked to. Thank you for your leadership over the last few years. It is an honor to be standing up here and being able to preside over this. For everyone here, I know that they briefly described the mission in the very beginning, but I just want to emphasize how profound the mission of JSSC is. They support operations that enable decision making for the entire leadership, our most senior leaders in the department. And leading an organization like that is a, is a huge responsibility. And we are a little bit safer every day because of what you have done and what JSSC done, has done over the last few years. And you've not only led from a mission perspective, you also lead people. And I heard that loud and clear as well. You established a culture where people take care of one another. They watch each other's backs. You led the team out of COVID, which was especially tricky for JSSC because you have a 24-7, 365 mission. You all did not rest. And you've identified challenges, but not just the challenges, the solutions that go along with those challenges, and you have made positive and lasting changes. Your accomplishments are a testament to your leadership, and the list is not a short one. So I will go over just a few items, but it would take a lot longer to go everything that you have accomplished over the last few years. First, JSSC has received several awards, such as the 2021 Joint Meritorious Unit Award, the 2022 DISA Nuclear Deterrence Operations Professional Team of the Year, and the DISA Lieutenant General Harold W. Grant Small Unit Award. And then not too long ago, they got the 2023 uh, Air Force District of Washington's Major Harold M. McClelland Large Unit Year Award. I also want to talk a little bit about the support that you provided to U.S. STRATCOM. And again, this is where the mission becomes so key. One of the things the department has to have is a global common operating picture, right? A, a, a 365 understanding of what is happening so that our decision makers can make the key decisions that we need them to make. JSSC, under your watch, executed 36 global COP missions, providing tens of thousands of tracks of uninterrupted mission feeds to the combatant commanders, over thousands of users, and operation planning planners who are vital to decision making, especially when you think about things like the Russian-Ukraine war. It's a no-fail mission. These are only a few things on the long list of accomplishments that you have helped JSSC achieve. Thank you for what you have done to strengthen the organization, which again supports the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The organization is better today because of your leadership and needless to say, you have raised the bar for those that will follow you. Macy, you are no stranger to JSSC, but welcome to your new role. A little bit of background, he graduated from the U.S. Air Force Academy in 2003 and throughout his 21-year career as Cyber Operations Officer, Macy supported Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom through deployments in Baghdad and Iraq as well as IUD in Qatar. And he has commanded multiple times at the squadron level. As a Cyber Operations Officer, he has held assignments at the unit, staff, and joint levels. And in his last assignment as the NMCC Ops Division Chief, he led 12 specialized joint communication teams and is responsible for advising five deputy directors of operations on nuclear, I mean, for those that don't understand the JSSC mission, nuclear C2 monitoring and force direction in support of strategic deterrence and decision making for the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the Secretary of Defense. And Macy, as you are stepping into your new role, I have a thought I would share. When the baton is passed from one person to the next, people often talk about filling the other person's shoes. 
I would rather see you chart your own course. And I look forward to the course that you're going to chart. One of my heroes, Naval, Naval Rear Admiral Grace Hopper, said the dangerous, the most dangerous phrase in the English language is, we've always done it this way. Our environment is too dynamic. You know, we, we say frequently the nature of war, the character of war is changing, and it is. It is becoming more digital. It is moving faster. And it is crucial that JSSC is able to adapt to that constantly changing direction. And I look forward to seeing you chart your own path as JSSC's next leader and lead the organization in adapting to that change. So thank you again, Angela, for your fantastic job you have done. And welcome again, Macy, as you take on this new role. Thank you. At this time, we now ask Colonel Freeman to please join Ms. Woods up front to be presented the Defense Superior Service Medal. Attention to orders. This is to certify that the Secretary of Defense has awarded the Defense Superior S Service Medal to Colonel Angela M. Freeman, United States Air Force, for exceptionally meritorious service and position of significant responsibility in the Armed Forces of the United States from June 2021 to December 2024. During this period, Colonel Freeman led 300 joint personnel across three geographically separated locations, delivering nuclear command and control for the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff which enabled 192 nuclear response drills, 2,700 real-world launches, and 6,400 missile events. She was integral in the retrograde from Afghanistan by synchronizing operational planning and communications capabilities that marked the end of the longest war in American history. Colonel Freeman's sustained leadership drove two 24-7 operation centers, supporting the $3 billion National Military Command Center and 11 combatant commands impacting national strategic deterrence and earned her unit the 2023 Air Force District of Washington's Major General Harold M. McClelland Large Unit of the Year Award. The distinctive accomplishments of Colonel, Colonel Freeman culminate a long and distinguished career in the service of her country and reflect great credit upon herself, the United States Air Force, and the Department of Defense. Signed, Lloyd J. Austin, Secretary of Defense. Thank you, Ms. Woods. You may all be seated. It is my pleasure to introduce the director of the Joint Staff Support Center, Colonel Angela Freeman, for outgoing remarks. All right, I'm going to try to hold it together up here. So what a great day to be in the Pentagon or outside uh, of the Pentagon. This is my, one of my favorite places to go during the day uh, to take a break. <clears throat> I want to start by saying thank you to some of our distinguished guests in attendance today, Lieutenant General Skinner and General Novotny. Uh, thank you for attending today and for your continued mentorship and all the support the past three years in JSSC. And Reed, we go back, or General Novotny, we go back further than that, so thank you. Um, for Charlie, our facility dog, General Charlie, um, and Master Sergeant Graham, his handler, thank you for coming today. You were the first name on my invite list, even before General Skinner, I apologize, sir. Um, when Charlie was introduced about a year ago as our facility dog, he immediately made an impact on the team. And thank you for trusting uh, the CWO to just drop him off sometimes when you need a break and let the team take care of him. I sometimes have an opportunity to be down there when he's there and it's, I forget why I'm in the CWO and I just sit on the floor and play with Charlie. Thank you to the amazing family members from the Bozarth and Freeman families uh, for joining us today in person and online. Chaplain Dr. Chin, uh, thank you for the amazing invocation and Tech Sergeant Treadwell for that amazing rendition of the national anthem. Captain Herring, 
Senior Wee over there, uh, YN1 Allen and Staff Sergeant Scacy, I thank you for sharing the stage with us today and making this a memorable ceremony. For my fellow colonels, field commanders, chiefs, senior enlisted, joint staff partners, C3 enablers, prior JSSC directors, and Team DISA, thank you for attending. Thank you for your friend friendship, mentorship, guidance, the fellowship during our field commander conferences, sometimes listening to me rant, and helping to make me a better officer and person. I would also like to thank those that keep this building running. I think they're often overlooked, uh, and, and their impact was clear the last week as we called them for help with air conditioning and yet another ceiling leak. I'd like to give a special shout out to our Pentagon Force Protection Agency for keeping the Pentagon and Site R safe and secure. Shortly after I took directorship in 2021, Senior Officer George Gonzalez lost his life protecting those of us in this building. As you leave the building today, please stop and thank one of our PIFPA agents. Mrs. Woods, thank you for officiating today. I've been so impressed with your leadership in the short time that you've been the DISA J6. Just last week, I had one of my civilians remind me of why representation matters. She's been a government employee for many years, and I was her first female boss. If you can see it, you can be it. There is no doubt in my mind that you are the right person for this job, and I'm glad you're leading in this critical role in the agency and the department. To the team that put this together, led by Captain Warchall, where are you at? Back there, and YN1 Allen, thank you. We decided to have this ceremony outside. Not sure what would happen. Um, it created some additional challenges, but it turned out perfect. Thank you. To my front office staff and leadership team, thank you. Uh, Ms. Collins, Chief Joseph, Chief Jackson, Chief Hazen, Senior Wee, YN1 Allen, Ms. Ladson, Mrs. McNeil, Captain Williams, Staff Sergeant Holmes, and those that have pulled a shift or two in the front office. Thank you for all your support the past three years. Thank you for being a sounding board, for keeping me on track, and knowing when I just need a break. But most importantly, thank you for sharing our team, for ensuring our team was taken care of. Ms. Collins, DF6, thank you for your support, advice, and mentorship over the past three years both in my official capacity and also as a fellow mom raising strong and independent teenage daughters. I'd also like to thank Alex, Brett, and Raphael for being a part of the JSSC family and brightening our day with their daily stops in our workspaces. To the JSSC team, you are absolutely amazing. As I was walking around yesterday, I had a few folks ask what I am most proud of during my time as the JSSC director. The answer, without a doubt, was the people. And how we have pulled together as a team work across the divisions with diverse mission sets to best support our mission partner and move the organization forward. As you heard in my decoration, this unit has been very busy the past three years and has been on the forefront of most major and minor operations and operation, operational decisions that our nation has made. You did that. I simply tried to remove barriers to your success. Since January 2022, the international security environment has changed and is now more dynamic ev than ever before. Tactical decisions have strategic impacts. Military, mo military actions are monitored at the highest levels of the department and around the world with a clear message sent to our adversaries. There is little to no room for error. We are able to execute with precision across the continuum of conflict because of our ability to real-time monitor the environment for threats, to watch strikes, track friend and foe, assure our, missions, our nation's most critical communications, have ready access to our nation's war plans and logistical plans to capture history as it's happening, ensure turnkey continuity of operations, secure our data and systems, close the gap between DISA and our, and our mission partners, and give full spectrum support to our workforce. This is the daily operation of the Joint Staff Support Center. It's just what we do. And while I'm proud of all that, it is the people that make this organization and the mission. It is the character of the organization that has proven to be our biggest weapon. It is the soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, civilians, and contractors that make the long walk to the office every day, knowing they are making a difference. It is that workforce that stands taller when a teammate needs to take a knee. During my time here, I have lost my father-in-law and my dad. The unit rallied to allow me to quickly depart and focus on family. It is this workforce that is there to celebrate the joys of life, and yes, even give smiley face balloons when things don't go as planned. This is a common occurrence throughout the organization. It is because we genuinely care about each other. 
Service is a family affair, and I also want to thank the family members of Team JSSC for everything you do to support us and our critical mission. I am so proud of each of you and everything you, we've accomplished together as a team and so honored to have worked for you the past three years. Please give Colonel Bozart the same love, respect, and patience you have extended to me. As a parting gift, I have left about a li 100 little G.I. Jane figurines around the Pentagon um, and at Side R. So as you walk around the building and you find those, please think of me. Macy, I am so excited to see where you take JSSC. I've watched you make positive impacts to the NMCC Ops Division the past year and witnessed your passion for leading, caring for people, and developing the workforce. This job requires you to be both a student and an expert at doctrine and leadership. The day you think you know everything is the day you have failed. There is always something to learn in this job. I know you are the right guy for the job. These great Americans will make the mission happen, and if you take care of them, they will do anything to assure your success. To the Bozarth family, thank you for supporting your husband and dad and the JSSC team the past year. Know that in the coming days, months, and years, there will be long nights, and that the JSSC will need a little more than our little more of our fair share of his time. Thank you in advance for understanding that this is part of our profession. But also do not hesitate to let him know when he needs to take a break and then ensure he takes that break, turn the phone off, and enjoy time with family. To my family, thank you for being there at the end of the day and giving me purpose to serve. You are my world. <laughs> thank you, Doug, for being my best friend and my rock for the past 22 years of marriage. The past three years would not have been possible without your love and support, and at times giving me the advice that I didn't want but needed to hear. To my kids, I am so lucky to have a front seat to watch the amazing individuals you are becoming. The last three years have been some of the most difficult as a family, and at the end of the day, we know we can turn to each other for support, and your dad and I will always be there for you. We cannot wait to see the impact you will continue to have on the world. Your dad and I are so very proud of both of you and love you dearly. I'm not sure if you're ready for me to be at home full time for the next five months. However, I am looking forward to spending more time with you. Thank you again to the entire team that was part of making today a success and to my JSSC team for the love and support the past three years. It has truly been an honor to serve you. Jagger out. Thank you, Colonel Freeman. In recognition of the outgoing spouse, we will now present flowers on behalf of the Joint Staff Support Center. The presentation of a bouquet of roses to the outgoing director's spouse has long been a tradition to the change of directorship ceremony. A bouquet of red roses has been presented to Mr. Douglas Freeman. Red is the color of the heart and reflects the love and concern that he has shown to our service members and their families over the past three years. To include Colonel Freeman and their family. Thank you, sir. At this time, we, we now ask Ms. Woods and Colonel Bozarth to please join Colonel Freeman up front. Please stand for the change of directorship. Under the provisions of Air Force Instruction 51 TAC 509, Colonel Macy W. Bozarth is hereby appointed Director of the Defense Information System Agency Joint Staff Support Center effective this day, 18 July, 2024. Please be seated. It is my pleasure to introduce the director of the Joint Staff Support Center, Colonel Macy Bozart. Thank you all for being here today. Lieutenant General Skinner, Brigadier General Novotny, Charlie, thanks for taking time out of your busy schedules to, to attend today. Yeah. Lieutenant General Skinner and Ms. Woods, thank you for the opportunity to lead a Joint Staff Support Center. Colonel Freeman, Doug, and your family, thank you for the sacrifice you've made to make this unit better and ensure cyberspace 
and support capabilities for the Joint Staff and Department of Defense. Colonel Freeman, it's been a pleasure working for you. Thank you for the many turnover discussions, emails, and meetings I've been able to learn from. No doubt I have big shoes to fill, and I'm grateful for all your hard work. Best of luck to you and your family as you prepare for retirement shortly. I would definitely not be here without my family. Danny, thanks for taking great care of our family and me. Luke, Logan, and Ashlyn, thanks for your love and support. I love you all. I'm so proud of you. Thanks to my parents and father and mother-in-law for making the trip out here. It means a lot to Danny and I that we were able to spend this time together. I also want to thank Captain Warchall and Y1 Allen, as well as their entire team, for putting this ceremony together and helping me transition into the director role. Thanks, Arden Treadwell. Thanks for honoring this ceremony with your talents. That was awesome. To the men and women of the Joint Staff Support Center, I thank you for all the hard work you put in to get this unit where it is today. Having spent a year already in the unit, I know there isn't a more important mission than enabling nuclear and national military command and control for the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Secretary of Defense, and the President. I'm honored to serve with you and excited to get started. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel Bozo. The members of the Joint Staff Support Center would like to present a gift to Mrs. Bozarth Danielle. Please accept these flowers, welcoming you as a member of the Joint Staff Support Center family. We look forward to working with you during your time here. I ask that you all please rise for the playing of the Armed Forces Medley in honor of the Joint Services of the Joint Staff Support Center, followed by the departure of the official party.
Executive Conference Room, MF-933, as we congratulate and welcome Colonel, Colonel Bozarth and his family. As a reminder, please reattach all identification badges before departing the area. Thank you.